G'day guys, this week I finally received the power twister in the mail. It took a while to get here, for whatever reason, I don't know. But, I want to see if I can make a punching bag, a reflex punching bag, similar to the Cobra style punching bag that Ryan Garcia uses. Can it be done? Okay, now in the past I have made all different types of reflex bags using PVC pipes and different types of balls. I've also made punching bags using pool noodles that are mounted on PVC poles that are standalone punching bags. I've also tried to make a Cobra style punching bag using this spring here, which is the biggest spring I could find at the local hardware store called Bunnings here in Australia. However, check out the difference. Man, the power twister, I think, is going to do it. Now, this is a 30 kilogram power twister. You could go bigger than that. You could go to a 40 kilogram. In pounds, this is 66 pounds, I believe. So if you go for 40 kilogram, I think that would be like 88 pounds. Anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can get one of these on Amazon and possibly other places. Now, the first thing that I've got to do is take these handles off. And the way to do that is to use a really thin screwdriver and just force it between the rubber and the metal steel. Now, I've already done that, and pretty much they now just come off like that. So this is ready to be mounted. Okay, now for the platform itself, I'm using an MDF board that's about 16 mil thick. And I'm using these galvanized steel pipes and flanges. Now there are three choices. There's a half inch, there's a one inch, and one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch. It's the biggest one. And I found that the half inch goes inside of this power twister. Actually, I'll try the other end. Right? So that could work. But I just reckon that this flange is too small, it's too flimsy. This is not going to work. This thing needs to be super, super hard. The middle size actually doesn't, doesn't fit over or inside of it, so that one I'm just going to put aside. So these two. So pretty much I've come down to the biggest size, which is the one and a quarter, one and a half inch, which fits over the top of it. And that's the one that I'm going to use. All right, guys. Well, I've been to the shop and I found this 600 mil uh, pipe, which is one and a quarter inch in diameter. I've got the flange screwed into it, my MDF board, and it's ready. Now, this one comes up to the top of my thigh, and then the power twister will sit inside of it like this. And so the spring should be roughly at waist height. Now, I'm going to make it eventually so I can adjust the height of that, make it go up and down. But for the prototype, I'm just going to tape it in place. Now, the fit into the pipe is not exactly perfect. There's a lot of wiggle room in there. So I'm going to use some insulation tape, wide insulation tape, to go around this uh, pipe so that there's more of a snug fit. All right, so I've got some tape around there, just a thin layer to ensure that goes in nicely. What do you reckon, coffee? Yeah? That work? All right, let's try it. Okay, it's a nice snug fit. Okay, I just want to get it to about there. And now, I'm going to use strong duct tape to tape that in place. The platform is now ready. The spring is a little bit lower than waist height. But that's okay. This is a prototype and I will figure that out later on. Next, I need to figure out what to put on top. Okay, so I've got a section of the three quarter inch pipe and a section of a one inch pipe. I've cut out bits out of the one inch pipe at the end so I can put a clamp on it and allow to use the clamp to clamp over the three quarter inch pipe. I've had to use a bit of tape to make sure there's a snug fit. Once that goes on, that basically allows me to clamp that at any stage here and it allows me to adjust the height of the top section. And that 
just simply goes on to here, like, like so. This clamp will allow me to clamp it and adjust the height. And this bottom section, I'm just going to tape using some, some gaffer tape. I'm just going to tape that in place. Okay, so now I've got a top section that is also adjustable, height adjustable. So what am I going to put onto this? Actually, that, that action is pretty good. That's pretty fast action. If I mount a ball on here, that ball would probably need to be pretty light to retain that fast action. So what I'm going to try and do, actually, I'm going to try pull noodles. Yeah. All right, guys, I've got this pull noodle bag that I've used in the past, that I've made in the past pretty big. But I could make a small section, say, using three round pull noodles and some centers to make sort of bag of this size. It should be pretty light and probably perfect. But first, I'm actually going to just see if I can use some cutoffs and put these cutoffs onto, onto this pole to see what that might make. Let's try this out. So, we'll go with the blue one first. All right, so let's see the action on that. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Guys, I think this might actually work. I'm just going to put some gloves on and see how this goes. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. It's actually not bad. The action on this thing is is pretty good, and it acts like a like a bit of a like, like oh, it actually hits back. Man, this is like a spar bar, but instead of a horizontal spar bar, this is a vertical spar bar. It still requires precision, you know, but it does hit you. And it's a small target. So you have to work. Woo! I like it. I really like it. Man, whew, I think I'm going to stop with that. I'm going to call this the Cobra Sparba. Okay, guys. There are a lot of ideas that I can implement improve, change, but more importantly, I want to hear your ideas. What do you guys think? What do you want me to adjust? What do you want me to try next? Man, this thing is amazing. Do you want me to do the full build, instructions and all? Let me know in the comments, but also make sure you subscribe and turn the bell on because there's going to be more stuff coming up soon. So I'll see you next time. Now let's see what happens if I adjust the height. I'm just going to make this taller, this much. Only about two inches taller, okay? It's a bit like fighting a taller person, I suppose. Whoa, I nearly knocked the camera down. So, it's slower, but the reach is further. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things to adjust here. I'm going to make the bottom adjustable as well, I think. So, lots to play around with. I'll see you guys.